This is the 50s version of the brand new Volkswagen Beetle convertible. And as you can tell, I'm here in beautiful California, just north of Malibu for the worldwide launch of this convertible. Now this is a very important car for Volkswagen. Last generation, they sold 117,000 of them. This generation, no more bud vase, much more masculine, and they're hoping to sell a lot more. So tell me about this car, what makes it special? Well, I think it's the only vehicle that has been around in this class for such a long time. Think of it, there's more than six decades now of open Volkswagens, of Beetle convertibles. The first one came out in 1949, so we've got 63 years of this car, and this is, so to say, the third generation. Design-wise, the new Beetle has really three things that set it apart. It's very wide, it has a very tall belt line, it has big wheels, and all the convertibles, they get this funky spoiler. We hope to attract uh, male customers as well as uh, female customers. No butt vase. Yeah, no butt vase, but uh, also uh, now you uh, not only get flower, but also power, because uh, this baby has up to 200 horsepower. Just like the coupe, or do you say coupe, there are three engine choices in the convertible. There is the base 2.5 liter. You can also get it in the diesel, which gets, get this, 41 MPG on the highway, making it the most fuel efficient convertible you can buy in the States. And if you want the sporty version, there's also the regular turbo, which is the same engine that's in the Golf GTI. So how does the Beetle convertible drive? Well, it drives like the regular coupe, and that is 2.5 liter. It's a little pokey. The steering, it's a little artificial, but you know what? It's not about that in this car. It's about enjoying the California sunshine, the beach, and enjoying it with up to four people because this new convertible is bigger than the old one. The question, of course, is how do I fit? You know, I'm 6'2", and I fit really well. Of course, the seat is up quite a ways, but I could see having four people in here on a short drive and enjoying myself. I would not be cramped whatsoever. Now, I'm in the 50s special edition version of the new convertible. There's also a 60s version, which is kind of a blue jeans, light blue, and a 70s version, which is brown. So if you're not satisfied with a regular Beetle, you can get the 50s, 60s, or even the 70s special edition. Volkswagen says that the new Beetle convertible will raise its top in 11 seconds. It'll lower it in nine. But I've got my little iPhone stopwatch, so let's find out if that is true. Here we go. One second. That's four. That's seven, it's gonna be close. Here comes eight. And it's done. Click, 11.5. Not bad, not bad, very impressive. This has been tested on German autobahns, and um, therefore, if, uh, if, if you are going 120, 130 miles per hour, which you cannot do in the United States, unfortunately, um, you will see that it has some very good high speed abilities as well. And did you ever think about going to a hard top? Is a soft top quiet enough to sustain those kinds of speeds? It, it definitely is, yes. This is uh, the latest generation of uh, PET uh, soft tops and uh, it has several layers. Yep, it's a wind block, all right. And it comes with the new Beetle, and it installs quite easily. You just bend it up, put it in place, push it down, pull it up. And there, you can have open top driving without having a bad hair day. And when you're done with it, it actually stows in the trunk, which is unusual because you'd think that this big piece of equipment wouldn't fit, but it folds up into four little sections and stows right in the back. First Beetle came as a coupe and as a convertible. This new Beetle convertible, three engine choices, two transmissions, an automatic and a six-speed manual, a 50s, 60s, and a 70s special edition, plus too many color combinations and interior options to start to list in this short video. It's very overwhelming. You can have your Beetle convertible your way, that is for sure. 
So what's your favorite part of the new convertible? Personally, I like um, the way that we have designed the vehicle overall uh, and not missed the practicability. For instance, for the first time now, you can put the rear bench, you can fold the rear bench down. So if you have some long obstacles, let's take your... your surfboard? Yeah, surfboard or your, your um, set of skis, right? Yeah. It, would, it would fit right from the dashboard until the end uh, of the trunk. Volkswagen says the new Beetle convertible competes with cars like the Fiat 500 convertible, which isn't the full convertible, the Mustang, the Camaro, and even the Mini convertible. It starts at about $25,000 and goes all the way up to thirty one dollars if you get the sporty turbo. You know what? This is such a nice day. I think I'm going to go enjoy some of this California sunshine. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Car. See you next time. Numbers, that's all you need to travel in time. Two, seven, eight. That's how many miles are on this 1979 Beetle convertible. Coming up next on the fast lane car, we take a trip back to 1979. 278. I feel bad driving it. <laughs>